Uh, let's get into the part of the conversation I'm, I'm most fascinated to learn about and I think is going to be most beneficial to people out there listening, and that is the financial aspect of D3. Sure. So obviously, a majority of folks that reach out to me are looking at D2 and D1 for the scholarship, right? And D3, the biggest question I get and you get are, do D3s offer scholarships? So first, mm-hmm. let's just start with that as our first question. And why don't you answer that for us, Carl? So the answer is yes, they do offer scholarships, but it is not tied to your athletics as it is at the Division One program. So you will not have a, you know, if you're playing basketball, which is um, one of the six Division One sports, men's basketball, where you can get a full ride scholarship, um, you will not get that at the Division Three level. But schools have very clear breakdowns based on academics and test scores um, from high school about the merit aid that you'll be able to get. Um, And that all stacks on top of things like FAFSA aid that you're getting from the government, um, you know, any kind of state aid, any kind of um, just need-based aid that the school can provide. So there are all of these avenues um, at the division three level for financial aid. You just don't have a, it all wrapped up in a, in a pretty you know, package that you can sign on Instagram live and uh, announce to all your followers where you're going. So again, slightly less, uh, less sexy, less eyeballs, but, but at the end of the day, if you're going to college for free, you're going to college for free. Okay. Then we're going to dig into this more uh, that merit money. Do basketball teams or athletic teams have merit money that they can give out? even if it's not a full, can they like, do they have a pot of money that can kind of divvy up on um, their players if they want to? I don't, I don't think it's that explicit. Uh, <clears throat> like, yeah, I don't think a coach can go to the admissions department and say, you know, that coaches definitely have a role to play in terms of advocating for recruits that they want to admit. And there are sliding scales that works differently at each school, but there are sliding scales where they can put more emphasis on a certain player if they're, if the admissions department judges them to be, you know, in, in an admissible range, but maybe a low admit or something. So mm-hmm. they can, they can provide more emphasis, but there's definitely not like a, a basketball slush fund for merit aid where they can push that money to players. Um, you know, there are, but, but at the same time, tons of athletes who are playing at the division three level are talented students as well. And, you know, I talk about my own experience at Swarthmore. I had a lot of friends who were, you know, had gotten these full ride academic scholarships or leadership scholarships or these things that were out there and the school was offering tons of money for. It was just a matter of were you aware of it in the first place, which is again a role that we're trying to fill now is to say, you know, here are the avenues. Yes, you might have to work a little harder to find it than just stumbling into a Division I athletic scholarship, but these schools especially some of the more uh, the ones with the larger endowments are really focusing on um, you know giving out more money in the admissions process you look at washington university in st louis whose endowment went up 65 percent year over year uh, they just are transitioning now to a need need blind uh, mm. admissions process so putting the money to work and um yeah, I think trying to help a lot more kids go to school for, for less. 